and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some gruel dinosaurs. So we have a, a donation to, to put together a gruel dinosaurs deck here. And that's what we got going on. This deck is made uh, specifically for an awesome viewer uh, that is wanting to take the deck to F&M, um, a, a nine-year-old that uh, wants a, a real fun F&M deck. And that's, that's what we're gonna have here. We're gonna, so we're gonna stomp around with some big dinosaurs here. So kind of looking at what we got, we have uh, 23 lands, which isn't a ton of lands, but to go with that, we have commune with dinosaurs, which you may, which, you know, you look at the top five cards and you can either choose a dinosaur or a land card to put into your hand. And you may be using this to be able to grab a land a good amount of the time uh, to make like early game to make sure that you have like your lands to be able to play your dinosaurs. But then later on, you can go find your dinosaurs. The most important dinosaurs to be finding with this, uh, when if you're playing this turn one, you really want to find Marauding Raptor for turn two. Having Marauding Raptor on turn two is, is very important because it makes all of your other creatures cost one less, and it it attacks for a lot of damage, and it, it synergizes so well with Ripjaw Raptor. And so besides, so early on you want to be finding Marauding Raptor if you're casting Commute on turn one. If you're casting it later on in the game, you're probably looking for one of these big dinosaurs um, of course, middle of the game you want Ripjaw. It's a very good card, but getting Galt, finding Galta later on is very nice. I'm, I'm getting a second Galt in here because that card is just so powerful. Um, besides that, we got some Reckless Rage for some removal, which again works really, really well with Ripjaw Raptor. If you can uh, do two damage to your Ripjaw Raptor and then four to one of their creatures, but also just works with a lot of these other cards. You know, like. Uh, Marauding Raptor, Spellbreaker, Ripjaw, any of these things that all, all stay alive. If you have a dinosaur in play, then you can, then your Drover will be a 3-3 and it will stay alive through both Reckless Rage and it will stay alive uh, through the Marauding Raptor's trigger also there. Um, so a good, just a, a good uh, efficient removal spell here, just costing one mana. Collision Colossus, we're basically always going to be using Colossus give our creature plus four, plus two, and trample. That could even just be on a raptor that maybe you play like a Regisaur Alpha and you get uh, two triggers on, on the the Marauding Raptor, making it a 6-3. You can make it, you know, 10 power with trample. Giving your Ripjaw Raptor trample is really nice. Um, you know, maybe it helps you get your Regisaur Alpha in or something like that. So this is mostly going to be for the Colossus side, but, you know, at times you'll use Collision. And uh, there we go. Spellbreakers are only non-dino, so we, we don't... Well, I mean, besides Land Werewolf, but and I guess Drover. <laughs> All right, so there's more. So you don't get to commune and, and choose Spellbreaker, of course. But Spellbreaker is just a, a really good quality card and um, is big enough to survive Marauding Raptor and everything like that. So it's just a just a really good card. In our sideboard, Veil of Summer, mostly against, uh, obviously, the, the blue-black decks, but basically against control decks. Whenever we don't really need Re Reckless Rage or Domri's Ambush, maybe we take those out, or or Colossus. You don't really want Colossus against Control Decks um, either. So, like, Colossus and Reckless Rage, those two cards can come out for, like, the four Veil of Summers against Control. Uh, have a second Carnage Tyrant in there also that comes in. Uh, Shifting Ceratops are very good against decks that are trying to counter your stuff. And then we got di different removal spells to help us out. All right, so that's our deck. Let's give us a try. Yeah, so the problem with Otepic Huntmaster is Marauding Raptor. You can't really play both of those cards together. Kind of have to choose one or the other. Do we have... We have Domri over here, right? Isn't Domri an avatar? There's Domri. If you think I'm a crazy beast... Where do you it's see the All right, Gruel Dinos. So we're going to be playing our traditional constructed queue here that we're going to be doing with our donation decks. So we're going to pay our 1,000 gold, play until we either win five or lose two, whichever happens first. All right, so what happened with Jeskai Control? It worked, yeah, it worked pretty well. You know, we went one and two, played all... Very close matches, like all the games, like that we were winning or losing, like they were all like just close games. Um, I made some mistakes at 
times. It's, it's a difficult deck to play and a whole lot of decisions to make with all the different selection and uh, scr like scrying with Ascanta, selections with Drawn from Dreams. There's, there's just so many different decisions, and sometimes the ones that I did worked out, sometimes they didn't. But it was a pretty good deck. I talked about afterwards some some of the reasons with the card choices and some different things to be doing as far as the deck is concerned as well. Hmm. So Drover is like a better card for me to be playing to try to get to Alpha and Carnage Tyrant. But we'd still have to like have those stay alive anyway and Okay, yeah, against Mono Red, Spellbreaker is a fine card to play. What is that block? Don't block there. What are you doing? Why would you possibly block that? I think opponent's newer. Opponent, don't make that block. That's just getting rid of the Vyoshino Pyromancer for one life. Alright, turning... Turning the Colossus into a Drover of the Mighty. Yeah, I think, our, I think we have a new player. No. Don't make these blocks, opponent. Blocks are just not good. Hmm. Kind of feel bad for him. All right, so mono red. So we need to stop there early aggro. We want shocks, coils, sweeps, and we want to go over the top. Do not want Collision Colossus here. Um, and then against... Against Chain Whirler, drove, you know, as we saw there, Drover and Landwar Elf can be, can be a little rough, maybe. Let's take out the Drovers. We're bringing in early removal anyway that may kill them also, like Flame Sweep. I don't think I necessarily want to cut Landwar off though, because Landwar off is just that strong of a card. Maybe one though. I think that we can get rid of a Domri. Because they get to attack. You know, they can be like a attacking our Domri pretty efficiently. We're going to cut one of those. And so we had to get rid of one other card. Um, could be the Carnage Tyrant, but honestly, Carnage Tyrant's actually kind of good against red. Um. Galtas are awesome against red. Don't cut Galtas. So cards that we could cut would be like Carnage Tyrant, another Domri, a Lanor Elf. Now the the Galtas are are definitely staying in. Um, because like Mono Red just can't ever deal with Galta. You know, like obviously it can get stuck in your hand. You won't be able to play it, kind of thing. Like that's it does have a downside. But if you ever get to play Galta, it, it it's just too big. Yeah. I think let's just go with another Domri. Let's do that. Let's just cut a second Domri. All right. Looks good. Ripjaw is very good against Mono Red. Yes. Um, it's not necessarily a tough... Like, the way that Mono Red wins this matchup is with Experimental Frenzy going crazy. Because we're not stopping Experimental Frenzy. So that's that's how Mono Red wins this. Uh, no, I haven't seen Scape Shift at all. I didn't play against it at all yesterday, or I haven't played it yet today either.
All right, so I'm, I'm glad they used the lightning strike there. That was ideal. Very glad they used the lightning strike. All right, could we top deck Ripjaw Raptor? Nope. So they didn't attack last turn with the Lava Runner. I'm going to leave the Marauding Raptor back. I'm I'm not actually going to be blocking the Lava Runner if they attack with it. Alright, well at least we're getting that out of there to make Wizard's Lightning cost more mana. If they hit Wizard's Lightning, it doesn't just cost one mana, it costs three. Lightning strike. Hey, Project Vanner. Good evening. Yep. We got the power back on. Darn. Our 23 land deck is flooding out real, real bad. Yep, yeah, this is how Mono Red wins the matchup, as I talked about before the game. Frenzy good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like with the, the whole Galta being stuck in our hand thing, Am I chump blocking the Chain Whirler? No, they're not going to hit. They've already hit a bunch of burn spells. They're not going to get more. Um, or they are. To be fair, we just we didn't draw very well. We just drew lands. But yeah, Galta isn't very good with just lands. So much for Galta being stuck in hand. And game over. <laughs> See, Americanized? Galta wins the game for us. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, our, our opponent was just newer. They should they should attack, especially like with the shock there. Or shock the Registor Alpha instead of us so they get to attack kind of thing. But that was a very fortunate frenzy for us that, that there was a frenzy on top. Galta is big. Turns out 12 12 haste trample. Five mana. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, match number two. <laughs> Thanks, three man. Have a good day at work. Take care. All right, good curve here. Even better curve now. It's all about the Marauding Raptor. Certainly hope that it stays alive. Don't kill my raptor. No raptor killing. Just play a Narset. Boo. So Spellbreaker is, is definitely a reasonable card here, but I want... Something smells rotten. I want Domri in play because it's ability to add mana to cast these bigger things. Spellbreaker can also surprise our opponent with some haste damage. My creations are things of beauty. Hmm. I was ready to cast wolves. Ripjaw. Though they might have also just been big dogs.
If we draw a land, we could like ambush the Sahili and play Spellbreaker. I won't hide from the world any longer. Let's take it back. Definitely wish we had this extra land to put the counter on the Spellbreaker. We just kill Sahili and Teferi if we would have drawn a land here. We won't answer to other guilds. I'll just get their 1 1 out of here. I know I could minus two the Domri and fight also, but that would put Domri at three loyalty. So weak to lightning, you know, they'll be able to lightning strike Domri. And I don't really want that to happen. No, Jeskai Control didn't really miss expectations. All the games are really close. We just, you know, didn't really. They weren't always in our favor. Yeah, that neat having that ambush, pretty critical. Having a five four. Let's slow this down. All right, come on, draw some lands. Here we go. Draw a land. Darn. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? You just let me know if you're up for round two. I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Stop! Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Defeat. Alright, well they only have two cards left. And already used their Cleansing Nova. We'll see if they have another one. What know you of dragons? All right, wouldn't mind <laughs> land. Nope. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Listen to them roar. There is no peace in defeat. Yeah, I'm just I'm a full time streamer toy. I 
I used to be a high school How teacher before I started playing Magic full time. How convenient. An excellent choice. <laughs> yeah. We got lots of loyalty over here on this Domri. Get rid of this. Ravnica deserves its demise. Dragons dealing some damage to us. Out the window. All right, another cleansing nova. You got it. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go the other way first. Definitely want to play the land or L first before the marauding raptor. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. To marvel at my masterpieces. Uh, maybe this, maybe this deck, Jeremy. I really like this, this Gruel deck. Let me check that one out. All right, so we can play Carnage Tyrant here. Which I guess that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. We're seeing if so. You know, if our opponent has another cleansing nova, hopefully not. I don't play very much best of one. That's something that I I do plan on changing. Eventually, I, I plan on having like a little bit of a like a best of one series of like different best of one decks, but I don't. Right now, I don't play best of one. I'll probably probably update that like after rotation. But I don't, so I don't have like a good recommendation for a best of one deck to be honest. Um, other people in the chat probably play more best of one than I do though, and can can help you out with good recommendation. But I don't have one myself. So Reckless Rage and Collision Colossus. Honestly, they they with this being a a Jeskai deck, like they may be bringing in Lyra Dombringer, but we'd still have like Domri's Ambush to be able to kill Lyra Dombringer. I want Ceratops and Carnage Tyrant, um, and maybe and I guess Fry. We'll play Fry. Fry can kill Lyra Dombringer and also kill Teferi's. And Sahili's and stuff like that. Then let's trim one drover. With us being slower, not so big of a problem. No, I don't I don't need flame sweep for tokens, I don't think.
Yeah, it's a good good point there. Best of one is definitely definitely a time saver if you don't have as much time. If you just you know have a little bit of time to play a game or two, or you you know best of one certainly certainly helps there. All right, down to five cards. We're gonna get rid of. Honestly, Galta's is really not very good in this this kind of matchup, like where they're killing all of our stuff. I maybe could have trimmed Galta's. We're gonna get rid of Galta and Reggie, our two most exp expensive cards. Slightly modded list of the girl of my girl mid range deck. Catch you in top 300 mythic all season so far in best of one. Awesome. Yeah, if you have that list, golden guy. I'd be interested in seeing that list too. Of like how you know how you modified it for best of one and stuff. Most likely Cleansing Nova here. Ooh, not Cleansing Nova. This isn't a fight you can win. Time is much more malleable than people think. I guess I didn't think this through too well. With the 1-1 one, one killing the Spellbreaker now. Alright, I did not think that through too well. Yeah, I should have done like Ceratops with haste. I basically I went with this because I wanted to kill Teferi, and I didn't you want. Have seen that coming. I wanted to save Ceratops in case of like a cleansing Nova. But yeah, no, I Ceratops would have been better there. So they have a shock. Shock is kind of rough. All right, I just played this game just really bad. Ugh. All right, lesson. Kill the Sahili earlier. Don't attack them. Just kill the Sahili. Could have already had Sahili dead. Life would have definitely been better if Sahili was dead. Yeah, we're, 
We're dead here. 12 and 12. Ugh. Okay, well. Good news is we mulled a five and probably had a lot better shot at winning that game than what I gave myself. It happens when you just play a lot. You're going to, like, just play some games just pretty bad. I played that game kind of brain dead. That's all right. Got to gotta move on to the next game. Yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep Galta. Let's see how we do. It's okay to make mistakes. Just, you know, learn from them. And learned I should have prioritized the Healy more there. And, and yeah, whenever I played, when I played Spellbreaker, I should have played Ceratops. When I played Ceratops, I should have played Carnage Tyrant. So now playing Savage Stomp. Alright, well. Guess the opponent couldn't handle that very fast start. Not playing Savage Stomp because I think uh, Reckless Rage is more versatile, more efficient. Um, so that's why we have that. You know, like you don't have to target a dinosaur with Reckless Rage, so it's good. Works well with Spellbreaker or, uh, or the. The druid that can be a 3-3 and stuff like that. And, and plus Reckless Rage is just so good with Ripjaw Raptor drawing you a card also. So go in that over Savage Stomp. Which Savage Stomp you have to have one of the dinosaurs and then play it, of course. Hey, 619. Yeah, I'm 2 0. I. Update that wrong. Ah. Thank y'all. Looks like I maybe should have ditched the ambush instead of the Ripjaw Raptor if this is like a blue-black control deck. But obviously we don't know that. Okay, it's Esper beforehand. Yep. Okay, I want this land back. Well, good news is they missed land drop as well. Darn. Welcome back, Storm. So either our opponent has Chemister's Insight. Which is not very likely. Or they have Contempt. Neither one of those would be likely, but it looks like it's Insight. Hey, 
Hey, Ian Ray. I guess I shouldn't have my creature die to Oath of Kaya, I guess. Man, I wish I had Chemistry's Insights. Responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. Time for plan B. Or make it so they can't bounce my little token. Here goes nothing. So we have to be worried about instant speed wrath. Which they they should do that instant speed. Well these are gonna be like all the cards that we sideboard out here. You can see why we're gonna be siding sideboard out like why these cards are coming out of the deck. They're not not doing anything. That's more like it. Right on schedule. All right. Well, they also have like the insights to, to draw a bunch of cards. We'll see what we get here. All right, Marauding Raptor. Not the worst. Make another move. Well, we get Marauding Raptor out of Oath of Kaya range, so they can't just they can't just use Teferi to bounce Oath of Kaya and then kill the Raptor. Let's skip to the good part. Um, I have not seen a Yurok and Reanimation deck. I've, unless you're talking about like Command the Dread Horde, I've played a your rock with Command the Dread Horde deck. All right, we're dead. All right, Reckless Rage, Collision, Galta, get all the Veil of Summers, Ceratops, Carnage Tyrant. One fries instead of ambush. All right, 61. What's our card we're cutting? Drover? Okay. Could be a Domri. Yeah, let's cut Domri instead of Drover. Drover gets to attack and everything. Domri kind of doesn't. If they don't have things that we're not fighting, Domri isn't as valuable. Music should be the same volume it always is. As far as I know. Yeah, 
Hey, original Q. All right, we'll see if they actually have Othakaya. It's more likely they have like a two mana removal spell or something like that. I just want to get aggressive. Get these attacks in. Petite, thank you so much for that resub. Sticking on that two month streak now. Keeping these hype boats going. And everybody's in the chat getting those hype boats in there. Thanks everybody. Basically because of Kaya's Wrath, I'm going to hold back a little bit. I'm going to hold this air top back. Because like if I would have just played Ceratops in attack, I would I was gonna be I was gonna have basically nothing if uh if they had a Kaya's Wrath. All right, well we can't haste it, so we'll get the Ripjaw in play. Didn't draw the land to haste it. Excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Well, opponents certainly had a really good hand. They kind of needed Oath of Kaya and then Kaya's Wrath. Like they, they kind of need those two. Otherwise, they were they were pretty dead. And they did. Oh, wow. That's not good. Do they have land to spark? Or I guess just even... Yeah, I guess any removal spell they could have. Yeah, just, just that. Also works. protect you if I play ceratops there give it haste hit him down to four we're kind of all in on the ceratops this puts a lot of pressure out here where you know could get like a, a Kaya's wrath or whatever and then we have the ceratops afterwards so we'd still be all in on the ceratops but it would just be after they play something well, guess I should have Ceratopsed. Man, I thought we had this game for sure. We did not. This is hardly my worst defeat. I don't think we're beating an 8-8. Eight eight.
Those are for push notes. Let's just fight. No more getting pushed around. We're gonna have to get the 88 out of here somehow. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Trust me. I have a plan. So best draw steps, of course, are Carnage Tyrant or yeah, Commune the Dinosaurs that finds Carnage Tyrant. Want. Alpha's not bad either. Oh. They just also just suddenly have Absorb. Why not? This might be a bad idea. So when they were at nine, I really needed to Ceratops, I guess. Basically, after the Kai's Wrath, I needed to Ceratops. They just had blue interaction. <clears throat> I tried playing Riptal Raptor. Like, drawing that Riptal Raptor was, like, the worst thing that we could draw. Because I tried just playing this Riptal Raptor instead. There with our four mana. Where it looks like I really need to play the Ceratops because all their interaction that we saw were Tyrant Scorn and the God Eternals. I said red, but I meant blue. Tyrant Scorn enter the God Eternals and Teferi. Just only blue spells. Should have played the Ceratops while I could. Good job. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but good job. Way to get to number 50 in Mythic. Good job. All right, we're going to mulligan this. Tough call of what to put back. I'm going to go with the uh, Reckless Rage, even though that could be a card that we really want, depending on what they're playing. Bant stuff. So we'll have be able to play Carnage Tyrant next turn. Oh no. That's bad. That means that they have... They could escape shift next turn. Circuitous route. Very powerful. Ooh. That was a really good draw. They should be chump blocking Marauder here. Would be my assumption. So they're down to 12. Kind of good news for us. It's not escape shift, at least. Oh, I should just play the Llanowar Elf and because that gives them the Marauder plus two. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Flame sweep can, can clean up a bunch of zombies.
Oh, right. It does two damage to everything, but it only gets plus two for dinosaurs. So it did. Yeah. So Land of didn't give it plus two. Good call. Like, I guess, like, Flame Sweep's probably just better than Reckless Rage as far as interaction goes. Ceratops can have haste, but four toughness isn't a great number against the zombies. I don't think I'd change anything else. I think I'd just do this. We gotta be as fast as we can here. All right, we need to draw big dinos. That's a little dino. He's a little dino. Big dino. Mm -hmm. Alright, so next turn we can, you know, ambush, Dom refight. Do some good stuff next turn. Prison Realm. Lame. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. They they could have taken the Marauding Raptor and then attacked Domri. I guess they didn't want to attack with that one two two. We have the first. We have this scape shift covered. It's what what our opponent's last card is. That could be a problem. Why does blast zone? Okay, never mind. Now it has one counter. No second scape shift. Seriously, second scape shift? Come on. 
I'm out. Maybe the better play was just play my land and pass. And just see what they did. Honestly, that's probably just the better play. Is just play my land pass. See if they have another escape shift. This is over. Yeah, hindsight. Thought, okay, they're going to have a second scape shift. Or, or even if they just have, like, like a Field of the Dead plus their Qtus route to get a bunch of more 2-2s or something like that. Like, some other way to get a whole bunch of more 2-2s. No, Chandra 6 is not the best card you can play for Escape Shift. Hey, Daft Square. No, I don't think we really need, like, Blood Sun in this sideboard or anything. I don't know, like, we were on the draw there, and our opponent had a, an awesome hand with two Escape Shifts and, you know, two removal spells. And, like, Grazer, Circuitous Route for, like, Ramp. They had a really, really good hand. Speaking of really good hands, though, ours is awful here. Maybe I'm supposed to keep Drover. That means I'm going, like, Drover on two... Maybe I just keep Drover and I just get rid of Marauder. I guess we do that. Good turn to play. Terry's a pretty good turn to play. Looks like they may have a really strong hand against my Mold of Five here. Don't worry, I got this. Ripjaw definitely makes things harder, but we got Colossus to get through it. We'd really like to draw a land next turn and be able to Ripjaw and Colossus. That would be ideal. Wow. Never mind. Second Ripjaw? Second Ripjaw is really rough. The first one we had beat. The second one, though. Oh, you're right. We can't instance beat Colossus. I forgot about that. I did forget about that. With the Time Raveler here.
I've got it. Yeah, another just really strong hand from them. Galta. Nope, no Galta. Where's our Galt is at? So we put one flame sweep at the bottom. I've done the hero thing before. I like Dread Presence a bunch. That's a really fun card to play. Really well designed card. The fact that I can't instant speed these Colossuses are, is so rough. Obviously, if they just have a scape shift here, I'm dead. That just kills me also. Really, really good hands here from our opponent. Games two and three. That's more like it. Especially these two Ripjaw Raptors. But <clears throat> you know, just they ramped real fast. Also, drew two Field of the Dead. It was just a very good hand. I'm kind of in a draw a flame sweep kind of game right now. Galta Let's flame sweep. This. I mean, I don't like you know they have 20, 20 power of zombies over here and twenty toughness. Good. Hmm. Just don't have a good use for these colossuses. Like, I'm supposed to do make turn this into like fifteen power and attack and just clean up some of these, but then move on. Don't want to play. Land War Elf just dies to the Raptor. So don't want to play Land War Elf. Yeah, we need we need like Domri's ambush to kill the t the Time Raveler, and then that makes my life a little better. I'll protect you.
but they have lethal right now. That's more lethal. We got a pack. We'll crack it open, see if we get a mythic. Mythic? Nope. Yeah, just a really good showing there from the Scapeshift deck. I, I don't think that that's that bad of a matchup for us like we talked about before. Uh, their hands, games two and three, were awesome. Mine were not. You know, like I was on a mold of five there. But, oh well. Um, yeah. Just uh, not too much else to say about the deck besides what I said at the beginning of the video. Um, I did like the Colossus. That card was, was pretty strong for us. I uh, did like how that, that looked. I could see playing more Flame Sweeps if you want instead of like the Shocks. I'm not sure if really if Shocks are really that necessary. It's kind of in here to, to help slow down the aggro decks. But maybe like... If we wanted to like just go up to like having a bunch of flame sweeps, I could certainly see that. It's it's good against the aggro decks also. And with having reckless rage, uh, it's possible you don't really need shock. Like that's that's something that I uh, could do to help. Um, but there we go. So that's gruel dinosaurs. Um, so thanks for the donation deck here. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Gruel Dinosaurs. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.